I am in JFK Airport and I'm heading to, I'm in Terminal 5, heading to the JetBlue section so I can get to checking for Mexico City. I'm in a some flight panic but I am going to find out what's going on. But yeah, finally reach New York, heading to Mexico City in a few hours. <sighs> I'm super super nervous. The fact that it's a Spanish speaking country and my Spanish is not so good. But I'm excited as well. Very excited. I have a few friends in Mexico. I'm going to link up with them when I get there. But yeah, I'm in JFK, heading to Mexico City in Mexico. Just checked in, guys. Not checked in, but yes, checked in with myself. Self checked in. Have my pass, boarding pass now. And I'm heading to passport control, not passport control, but TSA in order to go through that take off shoes and all these things to go to the gates so I can head to Mexico but first I'm gonna head to Orlando and then after Orlando I'm gonna head to Mexico City so I'll be in Mexico by 11.25 a.m. super super excited a lot of people are looking because I look weird talking to myself on the video but I don't care anymore I'm heading to freaking Mexico hello so yeah, I'll let you know when I pass through TSA and then head for waiting on the bus, not the bus but the plane to get here. Yeah, later. Completed the whole process of going through TSA. I really like that. That's the part I hate about traveling. The whole taking off your shoes, removing your belt, taking off your watch, everything. Take it. They now have this new thing now where you have to take out the snacks out of your bag. You have to take out the liquid, that you, the, um, the small packages that you have. Anything that is more than, any, any electronic device that is more than a cell, that is larger than a cell phone, you have to take that out as well. It's just getting exhausting and I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm just... <sighs> But yeah, finally got rid of that and I'm heading to gate 28 so that I can wait for my flight which is at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. today and it is now Monday, June 11. When you get this video or when you see this video, it's going to be <laughs> a few weeks after that a week after this date but it's coming it's definitely coming but yeah i can't say i'll be sleeping in the airport tonight because i did came i did come to new york late i got i arrived in new york sometime after 11 and i left maine after two this morning yesterday evening just reached New York and went to Boston, switched buses, then went to New York, got something to eat, took, a, took the train for about uh, almost an hour and I have noticed like yo I love traveling with loopholes, I love when I find loopholes along the way. Now there's this air train that you use to go to JFK from Jamaica Center. However, there is a loophole in the system in the sense where you can just outside of the air to take the air train from Jamaica Center, you can take a shuttle instead. After you take that shuttle, shuttle will bring you to Federal Square, no Federal Circle, where it will bring you to the air train from the opposite direction in the airport and then you can take the air train from terminal one to the terminal that you're planning to go free of cost compared to the opposite direction where opposite met or the other option where you'd take the air train from 
Jamaica Center and pay five dollars. So right there, they save five dollar. Five dollar, you know? Save five dollar today. And thank the Lord I figured it out because I'm just going to use that next time I come here, which is a week from now. <sighs> Heading to gate 28, which is very far. I mean, walking for a good while, very, very far. But airport is huge, 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 huge. You're not close down. See you. We check it in, check in again when it's near to boarding time and when it's near to go on the plane. It is now Monday morning and I am heading to Orlando. I slept in the airport today. I would say I slept in the airport because I, well, I slept on a bus before getting here. So I would say I stayed in the airport for all of Sunday night. Well, after 12. I had a lot to share with you about my experience coming here and what happened when I got to passport control. I had to inform flight 583 to Orlando with a light off for courtesy boys to those who have to shower children in car controllers and active military personnel. Once again, we now have for courtesy boys to those who have children in car controllers and active military personnel. Flight 583 to Orlando. I had an issue with TSA, not really TSA, but passport control, where they were, they had me there for a while because I was. Continue work like five eight three Orlando. We like to welcome customers in Group B to board this time. Once Be again, Group A and B are now welcome to board. Because I was staying there for a month, and they wanted to know why I was staying there so long and if I was picking up jobs along the way. Now I told them my job and what I was doing there. I'm a travel blogger, blogger, and I'm also a website developer and I work completely online so I can work anywhere in the world once I have internet, right? But they were more concerned about me and whether or not I was picking up jobs, I guess physical jobs, while here in the US and they told me point blank that if we find out that you are picking up jobs while here we will have to cancel your visa I was a bit terrified because even though I have you know proof to show that I do what I say I'm doing um, it, if one day they, I just come across um, one of the control agents that is having a bad day, they could just cancel it out right away just by what I've said to them. Um, so I'm going to try this time now to, to mix it up a bit and not stay so long each time and go to different areas because the reason why I went to New York twice is because I didn't get enough information in New York in New York so I decided to go back and capture a few other things however it posed a red flag because they were wondering why I'm going back to the same place each time and therefore it would seem as if I am working on the visiting visa so I'm for future for the future I'm going to mix things up I'm not going to stay one month so that I can be on the right side of the law you know and not have any problems and also go to different countries and not only US but the reason why I've co I come here a lot is because it is cheaper to fly from the US to other countries. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're only boarding Group A and Group B. Group A and B are welcome to board at this time. To Flight 583 will turn to Orlando here again, number 28. Group A and B are welcome to board. <laughs> it's easier to... It's easier to... 
come to the US and go to other countries than to go directly from the US. Just by going to Mexico this time and just by coming to the US to the US and then go to Mexico, I have saved over four hundred dollars just by making that transition there. If it was if I was going to directly to Mexico from Jamaica, it would have cost me almost a thousand dollars. So these are some of the reasons why I come to the US so often and I just have to guess try and find evidence to prove that I am not working here on a visiting visa. So yeah, those are my struggles and you know I was I was very worried. I was worried about my passport, my um, visa um, being almost expired because it expires in July. I was worried about that but the thing is they had other things that <laughs> they were concerned about like whether or not I was picking up jobs. I had to explain to them when I was here because what the problem is I told them I was staying there for a month and they asked me the last time I came to the US how long I stayed I also stayed for a month and they asked me and the, year before, and, the, and the time before that which was in August but I only spent two days because I was transferring from US to Nicaragua because it was way cheaper to travel to the US at the time and I only spent two days in the US so technically it was just like a transition type of thing I didn't really stay in the US and in February of last year, I spent a week in Florida also. So I didn't even notice that I came to the US so often, actually. I came here for five times, five times. And that's when I realized how bad it was. So I have to cut down on how often I passed through or find some proof of some sort to explain that I'm not working or picking up jobs here. I work completely online and, and that's how I get paid, not through coming to the US to collect jobs. Long story but you know I'm happy I have gotten that out of the way and I hope that it doesn't when I'm going to collect my visa or renew my visa, I don't run into problems again or this issue doesn't come up again about them concerned with me picking up jobs along the way. But yeah, this was my experience and I want to advise you guys that if you're coming to the US so often, especially on a visiting visa, please, please do not work on your visiting visa because if they do find out that they are if they do find out that you are working on your visiting visa that is it for you they're going to cancel your visa and that's it you're like they're not going to give it back that's how serious it is right now so ensure that you are not working on your visiting visa when you do come you don't come for uh, for for your first time the entire six months or three months or whatnot just ensure that when you do come here you're just visiting and not working please i'm begging you we already have things bad for us already with drugs strippy people shipping in drugs and people overstaying their time and all of these things we don't need to we don't need people to contribute to making our, our name as Jamaicans worse, you know, just ensure that you stay within your boundary. And not because the passport stamp said six months, meaning you're supposed to stay the entire six months. Leave before and come back if you need to, but don't spend the entire six months because if you have a nine to five, chances are no employee. A, B, C, a welcome to board at this time. Flight 583 will turn us to Orlando, here we're gonna get number 28. Group A, B, C, a welcome to board. No employee. Welcome group T. Group A, B, C, D, no a welcome to board at this time. Flight 583 mm. will turn us to Orlando, here we're gonna get number mm. 28. Group A, B, C, D, a welcome to board. No employee is going to give you so much time off if you are working a 95 so please be mindful and 
you want to not be on the wrong side of the law, just abide by the rules. So signing out, that's my experience and right now I'm about to board my flight to go to Orlando. I have group C so waiting until these people get themselves out of the way and then I can move on but signing out for now.